right there's my piece, two foot by five foot, right? All right. And then box two in here, box two in here, box two in here. Okay. So that the wheels on that run up on these. All right, so we're already past the blueprint stage. Now it's time to go work on it. And then... <laughs> All right, guys, so here's what Pup Pup Gringo's got in mind. He's going to mount this winch up here. We're going to put a piece of box tubing up in the air and run that strap through it and connect it to here so that way he can let it down and raise it up using that winch. Right, Dad? Right. And this is Winter Project 2017 number six. Six. And then we're going to add two feet on here. And Dad just wants to put three pieces of box tubing in there. So that way he falls through the hole and skins your knee up. It's okay. Breaks a rib. Break a rib. <laughs> You've been there before, so you got experience. This is the last so one. I think I named that project number one. So somewhere we missed two, three, four, five. Well, that happens. When, when you're a redneck, you can't learn to conk. <laughs> Good point. All right, so here we go. Uh, don't know if you guys want to go along on a time lapse for this. You know, we are at Redneck Manufacturing. Maybe we'll just bring it to you in segments. Stay tuned. One good thing about being a redneck and having a swimming pool is just this reason. You can hide stuff behind the swimming pool so your wife can't see it from the house and then she doesn't complain about it. <laughs> yeah, this is my box tubing stash. I had it on my car trailer, took it off the car trailer threw it in this little trailer and uh, that's where we're headed now get some box tubing and get pup pup gringo underway stay tuned yep that should work go over here pick up a uh, piece of box tubing should be over here on this wood pile All right, guys, so this is what we got so far. This was a roller set for an ATV winch. And uh, I went ahead and made this bracket up to accommodate that, put it on a post. We had to take one of the rollers out to accommodate the uh, clamp or the uh, latch on the uh, strap. So there's what we got so far. And then this is gonna get welded onto the trailer here. The strap is going to go to the front to the winch, to the hand crank winch, and then down to the gate. So this is where we're at so far. Stay tuned. All right, guys, it is sink or swim time. You are going to see it firsthand. All right, Dad, see if it works. All right, here we go. Sink or swim. Oh boy, here it comes. You gotta click your clicker. Here we go. There you go. All 
Okay, guys, we got this project finished that I had brought over for Rick. There's a couple more projects that I got for him, but this one here really works great. I'm getting too old and too weak to lift my tailgate, so I came up with the idea to put this winch on it, and it works great. I don't have to worry about trying to lift all the weight. It does the lifting for me, and I think it's super. So until next time, see ya. Hey guys, this is just a reminder. When I get to 950 subscribers, I'm going to tell you what kind of camera that I'm giving away. When we get to 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away an action camera. And that's going to be a random drawing when I get to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you have friends, family that uh, like this kind of stuff that you've just seen, have them subscribe, and if you're not a subscriber yourself, go ahead and get yourself subscribed. You'll have a chance to win this action camera that I'm going to be giving away when I get to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much.